all the viewers around the world. This is the Presser Pilot. We've got Hisham Lahuizniya, the Arsenal fan. We've got Hello. Malik Lahuizniya. I don't know what fan he is. Chelsea. Who do support Malik? Chelsea fan. Chelsea. Okay, we've got Martin Cassidy, Spurs fan. Who? We've got Reese Kelly, <laughs> Man U fan. Me. Right, and we've got. So this is the first presser pilot session. And we're just going to kick off uh, talking about the FA Cup. What happened today, lads? What was the result? What, what happened today? What happened yesterday? Arsenal just cruised through at a front at Friday night. No problem. 4 0. Probably going to win the cup. What does everyone say about that? Spurs what was the score? Spurs are not going to win it. Why? <laughs> yeah, I can't say much about United either, unfortunately. But. I think the FA Cup really doesn't bring out that much of a debate, mainly because... Um, Half of our team... <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's, like it's going to be me and Malik that are saying, <laughs> we're going to win it, we're going to win it. So let's, let's get on to the matter transfer, as a matter ah. of fact. Uh, so, as a neutral to this situation, I think... That it's a pity for Chelsea to let a player like Mata go, but for 37 million, you've got to let him go. I think I think Man United have really spent <laughs> a lot of money on a player that they don't necessarily need, but I feel like it's going to be an Ozil type of transfer. They're going to buy a player they don't really, really need, but it's going to give the whole place a lift, which is much needed. Because at the end of the day, Man United just don't seem like the Man United of old, and everyone knows why that is. They <clears throat> What do you guys think, Cass? I wouldn't say it's a transfer they don't need. They do need matter. It's not like a a, a transfer that they've just bought him to spark a whole kind of like flood of new new, new arrivals. They do actually need a creative midfielder. So yeah, I, I would say they do need him. Yeah, I'd agree, man. Like for a while, we tried to buy a creative midfielder like six goals. Fired first time and then second round. Like we've always tried to buy this creative midfield. It was gonna get Snyder. That never happened. Talked about Javi and Iniesta. Obviously, that's never gonna happen. There's Fabregas. He doesn't want to leave Barca. So I think I think it's definitely a good signing. Like I think Kagawa is gonna leave, or we'll see what happens with him. But wouldn't matter. I don't think so. it will be a bit surplus to our squad, but I'm I'm really excited about it. To be honest, I think that will make our team a lot stronger. I think Rooney will be happy now that he's here, um, and we just need it really. Being seventh in the league, that's not that's not a position that my new fans and the team are used to. So no, I'm you mentioned you mentioned Rooney there. Yep. Do you reckon Do you reckon Rooney's going to stay now? Uh, I I wouldn't see why it would make him leave any more than he wanted to before. Like, uh, Does you think it's gonna make him stay? Yeah, I think he will. Like a lot of the times in the past when he threatened <coughs> to leave, it had been mainly because uh, we weren't buying the players that he thought were up to Man United level. So but you're still yeah. winning the league though. Yeah, um, that's true. But I think with him added, that will be an incentive for more players to come. Like. When Fergie left, I think we lost a lot of our um, a lot of the reason why players wanted to come and play for United. But now that we've got Matter, I think we'll be able to obviously push on with the season. Hopefully, get that fourth spot and be in the Champions League. And um, if we carry on in the Champions League, then I think we'll be able to buy some more players and make sure that Rooney really stays. Do you reckon Van Persie is going to stay? Uh, I don't know where he goes. Like. That's true. I, haven't, I haven't heard of anyone coming in for him. He's 30 and he's still got time on his contract, so someone would have to make quite a big offer in order to get him. And the only team that will probably do it would be someone like PSG, just because. But I don't think they will with Ibrahimovic and all the quality players they have there already. So. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you. I, th I think if there's a team interested in him, I think that would be a bit shaky, but there's no one really that's going to come in for him. Just as an Arsenal fan, I'd love to see him leave and just screw up his <laughs> career. But anyway. Uh, can I just jump in? I want to feel, I want to, I want to feel uh, Merlick's reactions uh, as a Chelsea fan. Uh, what he thinks about Mata leaving? 
probably a big blow to the club, I suppose. Um, no, well, with that being said, I'm not sure that we needed him that much anymore because we've got now Willian, Scherler, we've got Matic coming in. We're going to get Salah now as well. We've got we've got an abundance of those players, and obviously Mourinho is not a not a crazy man. He would play Matter if he deserved to play and if he felt he could make. Them. I'm hoping that um, he can somehow persuade Rooney to to come to the blue side in the summer or someone. Ooh. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. All right, uh, Cass, Cass, I want to ask you, Do you? I know you're not an Arsenal fan, you're a Spurs fan, but do you agree with Arsene Wenger's comments about not selling top players to to rivals at this point of the transfer uh, transfer season? Yeah, I agree with what he says, but I think he's a hypocrite <laughs> with what he said. I mean, I, I don't think there's been a manager with the calibre of players possessed like Arsene Wenger has and sold to rival clubs. I mean, it, it, look at it. RVP, who else we got? Uh, Sami and Nasri. Um, when, when he sold Adebayo to Man City. Uh, where else do we want to go with this? Uh, Ole and Toyo is doing all right. You know, I, I, I love Arsene Wenger at times because he just makes me laugh. I've never heard a bloke just talk absolute nonsense like Arsene Wenger does at times. Brilliant, great manager, genius, amazing, but sometimes he talks absolute poo. <laughs> and now, okay. and now okay. basically the way this works is <laughs> just him with his, with his so, Okay, here's Sam, here's Sam. <laughs> If it's Hisham, what's your, what's no, your thoughts agree, on? I agree. I've, I've never heard Martin. I've never heard Martin. Uh, Martin come out with so, so many good things to say about Wenger. He usually just goes on about how he's a bad manager. But then I think I don't think I don't think I don't think he can um, he can talk with us or say he's top of the league. To be honest, I think Wenger's always felt pressure and felt that his players have been disloyal to him and pushed for moves to leave the club rather than actively. I mean, the, the mad situation is he couldn't get a game at Chelsea, although he was their best player of the season last season, and Chelsea made a lot of money off him and he wasn't in the team, whereas it's usually us being forced to sell our players because they're being they're getting their heads turned to other clubs by our agents and stuff like that, so I don't think it's the same situation. I don't think Wenger's ever sat there and been like, yeah, I want to sell this player because he's not getting to our team, although he's an amazing player, and let's make some money on him, which is what Chelsea have done. Okay, I want to ask oh, about. I just, I, I want to. Well, <laughs> okay, so maddox has got something to say about that. Go on. I'm, just, I'm not entirely sure that people should always bash what we do when it comes to selling players, moving players around. Because, I mean, we have results. Ma right? Malik, as a North Londoner. Oh yeah, wait, you're from North London as well. Sorry, carry on. What were you saying? No, no nothing, nothing. Sorry, you sorry, Hisham, Hisham, on, Hisham, Hisham, Hisham. Sorry, guys, can I just stop there? Hisham, Hisham, Lahuisni. Uh, Press the rules. When someone's talking, please don't jump in. Malik. I don't think people like Arsenal, especially Wenger, when he was saying we shouldn't sell to rivals. I mean, I can name, you can name at least ten players that Wenger's done. I mean, you know. Yeah, but it's not like we, they weren't in our Fabregas, team. Fabregas. They, were, they forced the move to go. Their agents forced the move to go, and we had to sell them because they weren't happy at the club anymore. Mr. Matter, Lewis, Mr. Hisham, Matter. you're going to get muted. Mr. Hisham, you're going to get muted until Malik finishes his argument. Sorry. Oh, dear. Well, I, I don't know. I, I'd agree. I think the whole person that engineered this, this move is, is Mata himself because he wasn't getting played. He wasn't getting played. He had a strop. I can't remember who we were playing against, but he came off in something like the 55th minute and he had a strop. I'm going to just switch the subject from matter now. Um, it's going to shift back to... Uh, this. It's a little bit of a controver controversial subject right now, which is uh, Anelka's uh, Lacanel uh, gesture. Um, okay, so Zoopla have said that they want to drop the sponsorship because of this. Um, you know, the founder being uh, of... Uh, of uh, Jewish heritage. Um, what, what, what's your thoughts on this? And I want to aim this question at Cast as well because it also ties into the whole Yid Army uh, use the word of the word uh, use of the word Yid Army. I mean, where are we with this politics and football? Where do I sit on what the the Yid Army? Yeah, well, first of all, about about Anelka, if you could tell us your thoughts on Anelka and the whole West Brom situation, and then as a Spurs fan, 
do you want to be regulated from using the word Yidami? Even though Cameron, even though Cameron has given his support to that recently, saying that you know they're free to use it, Cass. Uh, okay, I'll start with uh, I'll start with uh, Anelka. I mean, uh, I don't know much about the, the the comedian. I didn't even hear about him before the actual gesture was made, so I didn't know what his stance was on the whole thing. But um, being a close friend of Anelka's, I I I've watched a couple of videos on it, and I've heard that the actual signal. The, the the salute, whatever you want to call it, itself is is actually anti-establishment and it's not always you know anti-Semitic. So I don't really know. It's a touchy subject. I think they were a bit harsh on him. Uh, you know, Zupla pulling pulling the plug on him. I thought I thought was a bit harsh. Lukaku came out, supported him, said, look, you know, I for me personally, I just think it's a bit. I don't know. I just think it's a bit harsh on the poor bloke. I find it a big consequence for something that's quite small. I find pulling a sponsorship of an entire team after one player's actions is a bit excessive. Uh, however, however, you know, uh, I don't know, racially abusive it can be. But for me, I don't, fi I don't find it almost necessary to pull a whole sponsorship of a team for one player's actions. I agree. I. I kind of disagree. I think like if you're the owner or the co-owner or whatever of Zupla and you're Jewish and this is this has anti-Semitic connotations, then you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like it is your company, and if someone at the club is expressing a message that you don't agree with, especially if it's something this serious, then if it is racist, then I I think they did the right thing in my opinion like this, they can do what they want I don't think they should have said that they'll pull out if um, like an Elka played in that they obviously can't control the club they're just the sponsors so they shouldn't have said that but if they didn't want to carry on their sponsorship then I think they're fully entitled to do that we just want to wrap up the, uh, the discussion um, we're going to end on the title race where's it going Who's going to win it? Who's going to be second, third, and fourth? I'm going to start with Cass. Okay, who's going to win the title? I reckon... I reckon Chelsea's going to win the title. Man City second. Arsenal third. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to be optimistic, and I'm going to go for Spurs in fourth, because Tim Sherwood, what a coach. Um... Yeah, I think, I don't know, I just think, I think at the end of the day, I think Ch Man City are definitely the best team. They play the best football. I think they should win it, but I think as a as a unit, I think Chelsea are just that little bit better. They've got Mourinho. Pellegrini, for me, good coach, but I don't think he's ever won anything in his career when he's gone to teams like Malaga, Villarreal. He's done good jobs, but he's never actually won anything. Mourinho, he knows what he's doing. He's back in the Premier League. I reckon... Uh, they're too much of a force, Chelsea. So I'm going to say Chelsea. Okay, if we can get Reese. Um, as much as it pains me being a United fan, I think uh, City are probably going to take it. Um, I agree with Cass about what he's saying about Pellegrini, but that was with Villarreal and teams like that. Malaga. This is Man City. It's a whole different. Situation. They have the strongest team. They have the strongest squad in the Premier League. So I think they'll manage to take it. Um, I think Chelsea will be second. Uh, Arsenal third. I'd like to think that Man United could maybe sneak fourth now that we've got Matt up. But I think with the form that Suarez and um, Sturridge are in, I reckon Liverpool will be fourth. Okay, now I'm going to ask Malik. Um, it's a tough one. I think people are too quick uh, to dispel Arsenal at this point. So I might even shock everyone and say if Arsenal can continue, then I'd say Arsenal will win it, Chelsea second, City third, and um, we're going to go Liverpool fourth. Okay, 
Uh, last but not least, uh, Hisham. <clears throat> Malik, I'm so proud of you. Sorry, I had to throw it in there. Cass, <laughs> I, was, I want to do an analysis of everyone's predictions. Malik, that was very intelligent of you and safe, because obviously if Chelsea win, it would be good for you. If you ask somebody, you look good. Uh, Cass, you said something I'm going to come fourth. You're, you're muted at the moment, but please do this if you're serious. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Um, my predictions are sorry recent, yeah, you came out with some generic statements. So I think <laughs> top is going to be, uh, I think Man City, to be honest. Second, Arsenal. Third, Chelsea. Fourth, Liverpool. What about you, Presser? What do you think, Presser? Presser doesn't have uh, an opinion on things. We, uh, we, we, we pitch the questions and we want people to debate. But really, I think it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be Chelsea. It's gonna be Chelsea. Mourinho knows how to win things. He's won. Uh, he's won the Premier League before twice in his uh, first couple of seasons there, and I think uh, he he's got the team. They haven't even hit top gear yet. Man City have hit hit top gear. Um, yeah, I mean it's not even reached squeaky bum time yet, and I think I think Chelsea have got the squad to do it. Not saying that Manchester City haven't, but I think Chelsea have got the squad and the manager. To win, the, to win the Premiership. Man City will come third. I think Arsenal can carry on because Arsenal has also got the experience. I think they'll come second. Man City, I, I don't know, they're due a little slip-up in form. Um, I, I can see it happening. Um, and yeah, I think I, th I think that's what's, uh, what, what Presser thinks. Uh, fourth place, I think Man United. Well, I think that's a that's a very good prediction, Presser. Can Thank I say one much. thing? Can I say one thing? I forgot to say. Yeah. I think if we can, I think if we can beat City at home, then we'll probably win. But if we can't do that, I can see Arsenal going on. That's my last point. Okay, and on that, someone's just uh, knocked on your on your door, and I think you have to get an answer. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, okay, right, guys. Um, thank you very much for participating in this first pilot presser hangout.